Do you not like these? No, I like these. It just, it just feels like there's less and less every time. Like, less and less interesting stuff. Wait. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still. Okay, there is a forward button. I thought I was going to have to manually click on all of them. It's like, that would have been the one thing that saved you from having to go through it is if I had to manually select each one of them. Yeah. For, for my money, these are still cool, if incredibly basic. We have to call in the Royal Special Task Force. We don't know what saw in this, actually. That's impressive. Yeah. God, that very first, first... I love mask. His hair, though. Look at that down there. Yeah. He's he's a fucking cheese puff. God damn. <sighs> yeah, I've just never been attached to this form of the sword. I, lo I think it's kind of neat. It's it's very heavily impractical, but in terms of like a design, eh, it's fine. It's still here. God. E I, I, oof. Yeah, that was one of the things that Uryu did to him. I remember. It's wonderful. Him, he's the milf hunter. Yes. He's yeah. the dumbass. Voiced by Yuri. Yes. Hey, Gein. <laughs> right, right, we're, we're previewing. Right, we're going to have to see a far. Yes, this, this is the thing he Yeah, wears. I remember that. <laughs> it's ironic, because he, he, he would be torn up by petals not too many episodes afterwards. Yes, Nam Chandelier. I don't remember that one's name offhand. God. He looks he, small there. You think so? Kinda, yeah. Like, he is a fucking mount of... It's more on the shoulders, but the arms themselves are pretty skinny for what he usually is. I guess so. One of them is bigger than the other. That's not uncommon for tits. No, I know. That it just is no less. You just don't expect to see... Oh, hi. Yeah, we're, we got that already. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. God, he looks like an like like a fucking uh, Newgrounds drawing. That's amazing. He looks like he's fifty years old. Mm. <laughs> yep. He, he, the repairs. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, no, 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 go back one. Uh, well, I guess when Dad's yelling at you about to do your homework. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it go. <laughs> I like this one because it implies, if only for a brief two minutes, that Gein and Kenpachi are friends and that right. they and that they actually hang out together. Yeah. What do they do when they go drinking? That's a great question. I have no idea. <laughs> Don't go to Urahara's basement without supervision. That's the, that's a lesson to be learned there. Some think, some think she was going to put a tiny spread of tuna on this giant loaf of bread. Something or other about a carb diet. Okay. <laughs> the, the classic meme, in a diet soda, please. <laughs> yes, the vice principal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we've actually been over to exact thing to eat this all, too. <laughs> uh, ta Tatsuki, I'm um, telling people not to fuck with Orihime. Tatsuki deserved better. She did, God. Remember when Kuroku came to the world of the living in the beginning of the Blood War and told Katsuki and Mizuiro and Keigo, hey, Keigo I'm gonna may not be able to come back. Just so so I'm going to give you these tickets to go ahead and see him. Yeah. I'm just going to give you a fucking Metro Pass for the Senkaimon. Yeah. Well, then again, he is a new captain commander, so he can do that. Yes, he can. Uh, Shrieker, I think that one is. People can like it to a joke of the Democrats taking you over the, the, the Serite. That's supposed to be orange or gold or something. That's not what supposed is? to be black. The guard. Oh. That's not supposed to be black. Eh. Eh. Considering how early it is, I'm going to cut them some slack. Eh. Well, no, they would have had to have taken it from the anime. Yeah. So many of this just looks like, uh... Do you intend to fight me with a mere stick, Mr. Ichigo? <laughs> You intend to fight me with the hilt of that sword. Uh, so much of this just looks like Wraith Masters. Like, some of this really, like, old artwork. Yeah, I kind of see it. It's not necessarily a this... bad thing, but it just, like, really sticks out. Oh, God damn it, she does look cute there. Even this with is... the bangs. This is funny because when you zoom out, you realize that the brother hollow is actually chomping on her tit. Ouch. I thought it was just her shoulder or something. Is that in the manga? Or... It's in both. God damn it. Yeah, I like this thing. It's basic and stupid, but it's huge, and I love it. And very and very over encumbering because he has to have 
the sheath that goes up to his head but starts at his shoes. And it's never seen again past the first 20 episodes. Exactly, I love it. I, what, mm. You're hot here and you you are doing stuff, but then that went absolutely nowhere. Yep. Also, God, that is really just Ishin, isn't it? Yes. I just, I just got to go to the strider here, you, but I guess that works too. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> That one's just cone. Chin. Uh, Jesus. Oh, his jaw's at an angle. Oof. The cockatiel. <laughs> Can I just say Atatsuki had the potential to be best girl, but that went absolutely nowhere? I mean, honestly, for what little she was given, she kind of is. She was playing Tekken 6 in the manga. <laughs> for the PSP, no less. <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't a bad port to the PSP. It could have been worse. Something we wrote through about how when you go, when you all die and go to Soul Society, you're all sent off to different places, so it's literally impossible to ever find your family again. Reincarnation? But this cockatiel managed to find its mother or whoever within like a month of going to Soul Society, because Chad got to meet up with him. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. They were certainly good. God damn it, you were fucking fun. <laughs> Scored a hot wife, at least. Yep. <laughs> I never did see who Oreo would bang hit that someday, did he? No. I mean, I... I don't want it to be a case of Naruto where people just get the leftovers. Uh... <laughs> He really doesn't seem like much of a people person, so he probably yeah. he's probably still single at twenty uh, seven or twenty eight. I'm gonna posit an idea, maybe like a si mm. a side spinoff thing where there's chem there's been low key chemistry between hi him and Totsky, and R Uryu scores Totsky. I would like that personally because yeah, Uryu I can believe it. Uryu deserves it. Totsky deserves it. It could work. I'm. I'm going to base this purely off the fact that according to Count, uh, to Can't Fear Your Own World, there are apparently still full bringers around in, that are members of Execution. So it's so right. by so by that logic, it's not completely impossible to say that maybe there are indeed a handful of other Quincy's out in the world that maybe he could meet a nice Quincy lady and continue the bloodline. Uh, I mean, if Planet Vegeta was blown up and you continuously find more and more surviving Saiyans, I'm going to say the odds are pretty good you could find other pockets of uh, Quincy out there. Probably. Yeah. Also, this is not a bad runner for her. Nice. Very good. Nice. The death and the strawberry. <laughs> How was he holding the sword? Oh, wait, no, that's... That's a regular katana. No, that's Rukia's, I think. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so vicious. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna cut you. Why the fuck is this sword so big here? <laughs> Jesus. To test my own abilities, little <laughs> brother. I didn't. I mean, doesn't it look exactly it like do. it? <laughs> Wasn't it with 2000 that with 2000's AMA just sticking dudes on top of, of electrical poles? I love this. Oh, this was goddamn amazing. It's so stupid, and we never <laughs> see anything as dumb as it again. Oh my god, did he actually tape his Zopak to the top of Uryu's head? I think he was using a handkerchief or something, but yeah. That's fucking amazing. He had to tie it to it without using his actual fucking tie. God. <laughs> Remember when Quincy were cool? Yeah. <laughs> Before. I can rewrite my own death! Mm. This would then set off a major incident. <laughs> Yeah, that was the thing for uh, Orihime's friend that he had to fix that showed yeah. that he was in the sewing club. What do you mean people had nuanced character once? <laughs> <laughs> we too can reference old Yaoi. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Tanked it perfectly fucking fine. And... The, these guys, these two guys, may as well have died though, because we don't ever see them ever again. Right? And Kira could one shot him. <laughs> yep. God, I, I, some of these old ass <laughs> uh, hall designs are so charming in their own right. Yeah, until they until they just kind of all stopped. Yeah, until they yeah. Wait, go back. <laughs> Hold on, one more. <laughs> That's fucking silver. 
I don't think yeah. that's right. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be gold. Yeah. <laughs> that's blue. Oh, wait, go back one. We need to land the Captain Falcon knee. <laughs> you had to summon the Zero Squad to deal with the Meadows. <laughs> it's fucking blue. <laughs> Before everything on Ichigo would become black and red. Fishbone D, that's the fish hollow I was thinking of. Oh, yeah! The very first one ever. Which, funny enough, they're referenced in the final stage of Soul Resurrection. Because yes. there's not many hollows you fight, but the mini-boss hollows you fight are all uh, palette swaps of Fishbone D. Mm -hmm. So that's some nice alpha and omega going on. That is a very good point. I was I was like, yeah, I definitely recognize there's no any Fishbone D. Where the fuck have I heard it before? Right. <laughs> and looped back around. Yes. I can just... I really think I have a real liking for Kokuku, by the way. Kukuku. Kukaku. Kukaku. Anglicize that fucking word. Okay. What else we got? Movie? Do we have any more? Or just the five? Yep, the opening. Closing. The e ending. Endings for individual characters. Yep. Radio Cone. Oh boy, here we go. Radio Cone, as it is here. <laughs> oh god, that's doing some things to the screen. Here we go. I wonder who we have now, because we can't have Yoruichi, we can't have Kenpachi. Who are you? Renji? Oh god, please be Renji. Be Piakia. Oh, that'd be great. This, my remote. this deserves it. Oh wait, I can do this. You don't have to. I mean, well, then again, I can I mean, say what we're dealing with otherwise. Yeah, but these go on for a while. She is tiny here. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. You realize who the next one probably is? <laughs> Rukia. It's so weird despite this being basically a Newgrounds flash animation, it's still decently animated for what it is. Yeah, that is no, the I caught it. Yeah, no, that was the first time she ever bounced ever. That might be the only time she ever bounced ever. In oh god, anime. you're right. Because the only character in the anime that I ever remember bouncing otherwise is Rangiku, and that was only ever in the in Memories of Nobody. I would like to remind the audience that Orihime is 15 years old, but we're just not acknowledging that. You were doing this earlier off-screen. Go ahead and see if you can't find Orihime's bust. I mean, at yeah. this point, why not? I mean, yeah. she At present, she is of legal age. She is 28. Yeah. No, uh, just pretend we live in Mexico or some shit. <laughs> I still personally prefer in substance over dumps, personally. You don't like Stephanie? Stephanie's, like, really too high-pitched with her, personally. And this isn't? I mean, not really. If you had more of a wispy sound to it, I've always... It's not the same problem with, like, Shippuden, Stephanie Shea for Hinata. <laughs> it's, like, really too high-pitched and squeaky, squeaky for me. <laughs> you know, Cohen, I don't think she would stop you, but she's definitely not going to be happy with you. Tell, if Tatsuki ever found out, you would be... You, you basically get Thanos staff right there. That's a list of ingredients in that bowl. <laughs> I missed it. The only ones I saw were ramen and fish. Same. <laughs> I, I know I saw stuff. I saw greens. Sauce? Some kind of green sauce? How have we not done leak spin so far? I'm impr impressive, game. You have not done the leak spin. Because I don't think that became an actual thing until later. Oh god, no, that's ancient. Probably not like until a year or two afterwards. But I still Does it go back to 2004? Yeah, I could I could say I could believe 2006 is, or 2007. It but, is one of the uh, ancient boomer memes. No, I know it is, but does it? But I don't. I wouldn't believe anyone if they said it was actually from 2004, 06 maybe, but not 04. Oh God, they're moving up, and now she breathes. These are 3D technically. Kinda. Cohen has to be 3D to some degree, if not just multi-layered and just look like he is. All right, this is about running its course. Yeah. Still going. Oh my god. Oof. Uh, I'm gonna guess Rukia or... Uh, okay, so just the one. Probably the best. Yeah, uh, that... Man, that language, that language barrier really keeps us from fully enjoying that. <laughs> 
I mean, look, I would love to mobo or Hima as, as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to be, like, just oh, yeah. dancing around a point like that. <laughs> it really is just the six characters. So weird. I mean, I can believe it, but... Oh. Uh, uh... Uh, I see. Wait, what is, what is this? Oh, character oh. fortress. Oh. Okay, let's see how wild we can get. Do we see Shikai? Can we get a Bankai? Because we we got a glimpse of Byakuya's Bankai earlier. Right. Also, no, seriously, there is a good amount of animation for these character portraits. They're really nice. Yeah. Loop back around. Yeah, nothing new, unfortunately. That's, yeah, some of these are really nice. Shit. Do you have a concept art somewhere? That'd be nice. Hmm? Do we have concept art somewhere? That'd be cool. Maybe. Well, let's get to these first. Nice. <laughs> Pathetic. Damn it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I dig this a lot, actually, because it's the thing from uh, the manga first volume character uh, roster, but it's also the thing from the anime opening. Hey, where's Shinji? This is the most love that Chad would ever get. You're unfortunately not wrong. You know what, dude? He makes up one sixth Wait. of the story mode. Whoa. Yeah, I've been noticing that, too. I didn't, I was confused about that. <sighs> Alrighty then. Hmm. All right. Show How me good. what you got. How good. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you can move them up and down, but you can't zoom them in. That's unfortunate. Wait, can you? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, they're do they're JPEGs though, kind of, because they don't scale up in quality as you zoom in. Right. God damn it! I remember, I remember when it wasn't just like w w weird Ishin and whoever one is that like heals them. She the has six uh, powers. The blonde one. Yes. Uh, I have the ability to reject reality as you know it. This is a power that transcends gods. God damn it, Eisen. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll roll with that. And again, you look at what Quincy's can do, and it's basically yeah. I'm not sure what Eisen was expecting. <sighs> I understand that they were scrounging to try to get anything to put in these, but it feels like they were a lot less inspired early on. Yeah, no kidding. And, not, a, and a vampire. Not that I don't understand why, mind you, actual what? <laughs> oh no, that's the one when, uh, that's what I want with, uh, Orihime. Oh, right. Just like asleep. Yeah. Right. But these gotta be way to rip these from the ISL file though, because theoretically these are just standalone files. Yeah, that's a long boy. Yes. See, yeah, seriously. <laughs> that might just be longer than he is. No kidding. Then again, this wasn't around the time when Evan Children was coming out. So <laughs> yes, it was. Actually, I can understand the craze for long swords, obscenely long swords. Hey, Biakio, oh, oh. what's up? Okay, these are the other renders from the story mode, then. Why are you so sad? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Letting it all hang out. <laughs> Remember when Cone was going to be a thing? No. Filler. Oh, right. He got his own Philip block on? Hello. Are these... Oh, hold oh, on. Look here. at these in the back. Boy, we are getting it now. Ooh. What the... Okay, I'm going to wait. There's something down there that really has my interest. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've never seen them quite like that before, I don't no. think. That's different. <sighs> yeah, this is what I know original Kubo for. Yeah. <laughs> Momo looks so weird here. This is literally just a, just a seven-year-old. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> well, eh, I'll, tell you, I'll let it pass. 
it's clever because he has the he has the ointment over his eyes. But like the ointment's bleeding. red there. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be a brown color. Yeah. Mo, these are from these are manga. These are. Wait, no. The, are these from the uh, from the poles? They were doing them that early. God damn. Okay, we're coming up. Damn, that looks good. Go back. Fuck, that's good detail on the shadows. You might be able to use that, actually. Fucking maybe. That looks good. Anyway, we're coming up on something crazy. Yeah. That, yeah. Y yeah, you can definitely... If you can crop this, you can definitely use this. This looks fucking awesome. Yeah, no kidding. Holy shit. The, yeah, this is a manga cover. It definitely looks the part, yeah. <laughs> Can't be it. Oh, no, we got another page to go. <laughs> This was this well, is this, this is used in later games. Yeah, I also remember this is, this, Heat Two. Yeah, this is in two. <laughs> Wait, go back to Toshio. He's even more pale here than he usually is. That's hilarious. Yes. There is no sword under there. There is only more gin. And that's what scares me the most. Alright. So Is this what I think that yeah. yeah that's more of this. Ah, yes, the good old PSP UMD, uh, UMD, no, that's the name of it. UMD no, is the dead. XMD, no. God damn it, what's the name of the menu for the PSP again? Cross Media Bar. Cross Media Bar, that was it. We can go with the Aizen. Okay. This looks so bizarre. Alright, so sideways breakout. So here's what's going on. We have to break through all these in order to get to, uh, the Soul Palace with Walk in there and... Keep him from sucking up everyone's goo or some shit. That, that's not a cannon now. Teching, I need you to confirm this for the lore audience. Damn it. For a second I thought, I, I didn't know you were joking, I thought you were trying to actually explain. Uh, <laughs> trying to actually explain what Breakout is since we're since, since today we're Bleach Boomers. No. <laughs> Jesus. So well, that must mean we're Boomers in general. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. This is not a, this is not a new mythos. <laughs> is that one just unbreakable or something? No, it's got cracks in it. And a couple other ones, yeah. Ah, I see. To think, there was probably some Japanese kids out there in Japan who had a PSP and probably spent a lot of time at Reza's playing this. Think about that. Yeah. Weird thought. Also, these menu interfaces make this sound feel like a either PS1 game or TurboGrafx-16. Kinda, yeah. Like, it's so bizarre, especially with the fade-outs. Alright, oh, you can Two multiplayer. Player. You can multiplayer this with the face buttons and the D-pad. Oh my god. <laughs> I assure you guys I'm not editing this. It actually looks like that. You have to turn it on its fucking side. <sighs> what else? Oh, it's just a different map, okay. Seems easier, all things considered. Yes. Also, it's, I find this like kind of rare in older breakout games to be able to hold the ball, so that's a really nice addition. The first ever version of Breakout I ever played was on an iPod Nano in 2007. I'm gonna fuck with you. My first ever version of it was on the Atari 2600. Really? Yes, my grandma owned one. It was great. It was either an actual Atari 2600, which I know for a fact my dad does still own, as well as a 5200. I'm not kidding about really? that. Really? Yes. Oh, he also has that one uh, uh, Sega console released in America. The 32X? I think it was the 32X. I think it was called... I think it was called a Master Drive or something in America? The Mega Drive? Mega Drive, yeah. Or not Master System. Master, he's got his Master System. That's the 8-bit Genesis. Yes, it is. Where Sonic technically made technically made his debut. Anyway, I'm on topic. Yeah, uh, it was either the 2600 I first played Breakout, or was like one of those emulator Joy Cons that like Joy Cons. Those like emulator <laughs> things that like had the, the shape the, of a uh, of the plug in the plug and play plug and play. Yeah, the ones where it's like the shape of it. I'm gonna fuck with you. The very first one of those I I ever had. My dad, uh, I got from my dad as a souvenir on one of 
his earliest trips that I can remember back to Iran. Damn. Where it was Atari 2600 games, uh, Pitfall, Breakout, all of that, but it was controlled by a DDR pad. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Explain the rules of Breakout. <laughs> With the deep pool complicated let's set up a fucking breakout. <laughs> But yeah, that was an experience. You can teach someone Yu-Gi-Oh with that much text. Actually, you could. <laughs> so, he just sold one. <laughs> we fucking done it. I. This has been an experience. Mm. This game, I'll say, for the very first one in the series on, and was borderline near launch window for PSP. This wasn't too horrible. I, this definitely has that charm. It, it obviously shows this that... This is definitely first game syndrome. This, this show... This has that early Bleach crust, and I like it. Everything had charm. But, uh... It's just a goddamn shame to start came as this. Because look at this. Most of the key things you already need are translated. God damn it. <laughs> what? Alright, it's great that you're bringing over Bleach Soul Resurrection, but are you ever going to bring over any of the Heat the Soul games to America, Mr. NIS America? But those are on the PSP. Nothing sells on the PSP, Chris is gorgeous to the Or if I sleep, Monster Hunter. Do something next tech tech and PSP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. What fucking marketing was that? I don't know. The Bleach. Or wow, okay. The, the West doesn't buy Gundam. It's literally just that all over again. But the PSP did have all those Sony Hallmark games. They had Jack and Daxter. They had, uh, they had Killzone. I mean, you didn't even need, really need to, okay. I vaguely remember on the PS3, and correct me if I'm wrong, but on the US PSN store, you could start to buy Japanese games. Ye sort of and not... They Technically, what a thing they eventually let you do was sometimes they would put Japanese PS1 classics on the American uh, PSP and PS3. That store. was it, yeah. They did not, however, bring Japanese only PS3 or PS2 games to the stores. If it's anything to go, if, it, if it's any sort of consolation prize, like my channel's kind of growing, like at least a few subscribers on a daily basis, so. The odds of someone finding Heat the Soul rises by the day, so if that's anything remotely to go by, I think it's alright. You could now make a mega playlist of all, of all of the games. I could, actually. In reverse order. That would be funny, but we could do that. Alright, you actually want to go back to the main menu? menu? I know you're doing this, but... Hey, I'm just filling I, time. I think it's time to announce yeah. a thing we have wanting to do. So. Hold on. I'm gonna admit a thing. Heat the Soul 5 wasn't our best recording. Oh, that one. Yeah. It wasn't our best recording, and, like, you were half asleep. We were getting pissed about something. I was having a moderately good time, but I was flopping everything I was talking about. Heat the Soul 6 and 7, while they were fun, I feel like 7 we were fucking up a little bit on, and we had to use cheats. But, given how much we progressed with the series, and how we've done them all now, God damn it, we've done that. Brandon we've and I only, did... We filled a, pro a promise only four years in the making. Yeah. I mean, seven games. You can only take that in a bunch so, like, so quickly. We made that promise when we had already done three of them. Yeah. <laughs> we, at, at any rate. We've decided to set aside time to redo Heat Soul 5 at least, and Heat Soul 6 and 7. I think this will be really cool because I have learned a lot about this series, both the story and the gameplay, so I think given what we've learned and the much better recording equipment we obviously have with the emulator, I think it'll be something interesting to look forward to, guys. That is also the fact that being able to commentate over, we'll say, 70-75% of the whole Bleach story all in one place. Oh, definitely, yeah. And with the magic of hindsight, given that the story's over and all the shit we've had revelations, we're gonna find time to, between everything that we have coming up, to just sit down and just spend a couple hours to do... Five first, probably, and... Five first, and then six and seven together. Yes. Because six and seven are duology, they are not part of the overall no. heptology. 
Like, six pretty much covers most of the story, and then seven takes, picks up right after where six leaves off. Yep. So that'd be magical. Goddamn, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to this. All right, boys. Hope you've enjoyed. That has been the entire Heat the Soul series. God. We can't... <laughs> again, We neither of us... Even Brandon, who's been playing this for over a decade, hasn't even fucking played this one yet. Oh my god, it's been 11 years. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I know. Yeah. And here I am having... Jesus, I've played a lot more Clash of Ninja games than I have any right to have done. God, and only like a you fraction... You have played more Bleach Clash of Ninja games than you have played Naruto Clash of Ninja games. I've played more Bleach games than most human beings even know of exist. Because <laughs> out of like all the ones we've done, Heat the Soul 1-7, through seven, uh, Versus Crusade, Shatterblade, and Soul of Resurrection, only two of those games have come to the States. Yep. Yeah. I mean, granted, bulk of that is the Japanese-only PSP game, but still. That's a hell of a thought. Alright, guys. We'll catch you on the flip side next time. We are... I don't know what the hell we're doing next, actually. We'll have to talk about the off-screen. <laughs> we kind of just winged this one. But, yeah. Yep. Peace out, boys. Enjoy some of them good vibes. <laughs> I actually don't know if I'm going to get a couple for this or not. You probably want to mute this the second time around. Yeah. Just for good. You know what? Let's just let this uh, run through one last time. But uh, definitely mute it because, you know, it's just funny seeing all of this again and seeing technically new ish old Bleach animation. Because this was animation that was not made for TV. No, it wasn't. So, it, so it's mostly wholly unique. It's amazing they set aside the time to do that, but then again, editing has a good tendency of making original animation for games. That was something that was always weird about the Heat the Soul series to me, is that the exact number of games that have openings are 1, 2, and 6. <laughs> no 3, no 4, no 5, and no 7. Bonkai from Fucking the first Bonkai, 20 episodes of the series. And Gene V when barely the, being shown. When the only released Zanpakuto we had seen up to that point was Renji's. Yep. His fucking uh, Samehara thing. And also that mask. Yes. Remind me, did the did the mask change at all the couple of times it appeared in Soul Society, or was it just the one pattern? I think it was just the one pattern, so it actually popped up on his face proper. Right, yeah. Alright, guys. Alright. Peace out. See ya. Boomer hours. Forever. Blah.